Yeah, what's good, YouTube? Today I'm bringing you guys my Human Male Soldier Gold build. You can use this build for gold, silver, bronze tier matches. He is level 20. I just wanted to show what my maxed out Human Male Soldier looks like. Maybe to help you guys out, give you some different builds to go with. This is going to be a concussive shot build. As you can see, I don't put any points of frag grenade because I don't really use it that often. But I'm going to go ahead and explain to you why I spec him out the way that I do. We're gonna go ahead and get right into it. Rank four, I go for duration. Gold matches, you're gonna have a lot more yellow bar enemies. Having a longer duration means you're gonna output a lot more damage for a longer period, but you'll put out a lot more damage in a shorter period of time though also. So you'll be able to shred bosses a lot faster. Rank five, I go for damage and force. It gives you plus 15% gun damage and plus 15% gun force. Again, gun output. Rank six, I go for supercharge. Gives you plus 20% rate of fire and a plus 20% clip size. Having the increased fire rate with the turbo charge, I would advise, I mean, you know, my advice to you is to use guns that have a bigger clip size, bigger magazine. Definitely helps out. <clears throat> but, you know, you'll be able to shred bosses a lot easier, like hydras, berserkers, um, nullifiers, all that type of shit. Um, guns that. I feel are the best are guns like the Charger, um, the Hurricane, uh, the Rose Red, um, pretty much any type of gun that has a big clip size or a big magazine is going to be the most beneficial to you. This build is my opinion, okay, um, everybody has their own play style. You can build them however you want to. Uh, this is just to showcase how I do it. Rank 4 on Concussive Shot, I, you get plus 30% recharge speed. I go for this because I spam a lot. It's easier to handle the Audi Lizards, the Breachers, anything that's going to grab you. You can just knock it to the ground, buy you some time. Normally when you knock them to the ground, you'll be able to do enough damage to where you can just slam out before you know they get back up. Rank 5, I go for direct damage, or damage and force. It gives you plus 25% direct damage, plus 25% direct force. Again, this build is going to be all about damage. Um, damage output, especially because you can use this for gold tier matches. Rank 6, I go for anti-shield, just to be able to shred down shields of observers a lot faster. Um, once you drop enemies that have shields, once you drop them, the damage will increase and you'll be able to shred them a lot faster. But while they have a shield, your damage is, you know, a little bit less, but it's still very, very good. Frag grenade, I just have one point because, like I said, I do have a frag grenade build that I will showcase, but for this concussive shot build, I like to have everything else maxed out but the frag grenade because I don't, like I said, I don't really use it that often. Munitions training, rank 4, go for weapon damage. The reason for that being is, again, this build's all about damage, okay? Being able to kill shit as fast as you can, being able to clear the gold matches as quickly as possible. Rank 5, I go for weapon efficiency. It gives you plus 15% weapon reload speed, plus 25% weapon clip size, and plus 20% weapon spare ammo. This is very good because being able to reload faster with your turbo charge lasting longer, you can actually, you know, be able to go through a couple clips before it goes away. Normally you can just fuck shit up, you know, pretty damn fast. Um, bosses really aren't a big issue. Uh, you can fly through it pretty easy if you, you know, go with this. Rank six, I go for precision. Again, gives you plus 20% weapon headshot, weak point at bonus plus 25% weapon accuracy, plus 25% weapon stability, and if you're using shotguns, plus 25% shotgun pellet spread. <clears throat> Combat fitness, rank four. I go for health and shields, for survivability, especially, you know, de definitely helps out for the harder difficulty matches. Rank five, I go for defensive positioning. Um, it gives you regen delay reduction and cover, and damage resistance and cover. Um, and gold matches, you're going to want to take a lot of cover. You don't want to be running around out in the open because you take a lot more damage. So being in the cover definitely helps. The damage resistance is just a bonus. Rank 6, I go for hold the line. Greatly reduces damage taken when below 30% health. Again, when you're low health, it's all about survivability. But I've tried to build this guy around survivability and a glass cannon. Um, just because I like to be able to speed through missions as fast as possible. I don't like taking forever. Um, I just like to get through it, you know, as quick as possible. Because, you know, people that don't have a whole lot of time to play, 
this build's good because you know you can increase the credits that you get an hour and it's just a great build in my opinion and uh, I'm gonna be showcasing a video of a gameplay with this guy to show you guys how I play with them maybe it'll help you out give you a different variation of a build if you're having a hard time playing with them um, hopefully this helps you guys I want to give a shout out to all my recent subs and the subs that I've gotten up to this point I appreciate all the support shout out to you guys if we can get to 100 subs I'll be doing a small giveaway um, I'll probably be doing like PSN cards and stuff for people so you can get you know Andromeda points or whatever but uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you found it helpful if you did be sure to smash that like button for me and uh, if you're new to the channel and you like the content you know I'd appreciate it if you just subscribed um, and I hope everybody has a good day and stay blessed. Peace.
Marines and get 